going on on my YouTube buddies with another quick take. Star Wars Rebels Season 3. I just finished watching it on Disney+. Plus. Obviously, I've been a fan of Star Wars Rebels. I do enjoy the crew of the Ghost. And I was excited to see where the series would continue after being blown away by the finale of Season 2. So, Season 3 shows the Rebels still continuing to grow their calls. We get to see characters in their deepest personal levels yet. Ezra struggling to cope with things after some of the failures he fought he calls at the end of season two. Kanan who is now a blind Jedi overcoming his blindness and learning that he can embrace more energy with the force. Sabine especially the Mandalorian character what they do with her in season three is amazing character growth seeing some of her flaws and her past that are coming to light as she comes in contact with a dark saber there are some excellent stuff in season three some aspects i did not even think were even possible on star wars rebels i wasn't expecting certain things to go down the way they were because rebels started out as a more light-hearted series and this is easily the darkest season yet of Rebels so far. There are some lighthearted episodes in there but with the introduction of Grand Admiral Thrawn, a character I had heard about, I've heard people talk about this character from some of the books and stuff but this was my introduction to Grand Admiral Thrawn. This brilliant Empire strategist who's one step ahead of the Rebels all the way through. Grand Admiral Thrawn has skyrocketed to one of my favorite Star Wars villains. This guy, you do not want to mess with him. He's no Sith, he's no Force user or anything. He's just a head strategist that's working to take the Rebels down once and for all. And he's more menacing than Grand Admiral Tarkin. We get some more Darth Maul in Season 3. We get to see... Some interesting aspects of his character and I thought how they wrapped up his character arc in season three. It can feel a little anticlimactic to some but I still thought it was very satisfying considering we first met Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace and he was kind of a one-dimensional villain. To see Darth Maul as a complex flawed character with a lot of issues and seeing that come to play until the very end is very compelling. I love what they do to Darth Maul between Clone Wars and now Rebels. So overall, Season 3, while there are a few hiccups in there, there's a few side characters I don't really care for as much. There's this Imperial droid that joins the Rebels who hangs out with Chopper I find incredibly annoying. But I still, I think I enjoyed Season 3 the most of the season so far. It's continuing to grow the characters in unpredictable ways and I think I was invested with a lot of the character journeys and even the emotional stakes of the Rebels. And the finale was so epic and insanely satisfying. I can't wait to see where they wrap up the series in Season 4. I'm going to give Star Wars Rebels a 4.5 out of 5 stars and on the 100 point scale I'm giving it an 84 out of 100.